Hi, welcome on my Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca. This is an Ubuntu with a Cinnamon and Nemo add-on, so you have a complete other look. But it's still Linux and it still works just out of the box. What are we going to do today? We are going to install Conkey. Conkey is a monitoring, monitoring system where you can um, you can install it and so you can see how hot your computer is becoming how fast your computer is uh, when you're downloading or uploading everything you can see it on this information here all the information that's available is all this you can see a lot of stuff if you're a Spotify fan you can load up the name, the artist, uh, the song name picture of the cover stuff like that you want a weather forecast you see here weather forecast lots of stuff can be checked temperature frequency CPU load etc if you like this then you can first of all go to the website there's more information other YouTube films this one just goes how to use this I just uploaded one so this is not the real or the last version the last version is not even visible here yet yes that is true so they must still be um, checking it out and giving it free I suppose so what I'm going to do I'm going to make an, uh, a pause in this movie and transfer it from one PC to the other so that I have the same version 2.4.5 back in a flash and here we are again let's say I have downloaded it from SourceForge the latest version which is Aurora version 2.4.5 speaking in sorry in 5th February of 2015 probably other versions will follow so what do you do? You extract it here and you find yourself with let's minimize it so this can go in the dustbin and this is the one you need these are the files first off let's not forget change the folder please get rid of the version there is also always a version control system so just get rid of it I'm always pointing to this map Aurora so in all the scripts everywhere I'm pointing not to a version which is always something different it's Aurora now let's look at uh, what you're getting you first have to make sure you want it at all so you check your pictures I think that's a e decent thing to do maybe sort it by picture these are all the pictures I am sending with the program so you can open them with image viewer and see okay is this what I want to do is this the time I want to spend or is it just stupid stuff no. so all the information you might like and might want to see maybe for torrenting and see what you're downloading how much you're downloading two kind of stuff made Spotify two kind of widgets made weather two kind of widgets and still coming in the future so if you like this, I say okay. Hmm. Which would, would want to have one of those, not all of them, one of those on my screen? Then you can f first of all start by reading here. We're going to skip that. Read it yourself, and then you have to go to something that is executable, because these are the themes. So you can choose a theme. You get a wallpaper and some widgets with it. It's just for me. It's, it's interesting it's fast so what do we have is in here it is a little bit explanation install Aurora okay you read it copying just blah blah read me of course every file should read it because there you see why I'm making it I just want to learn about Linux I want to share my knowledge and then all the versions I've made and all the difference I've made just to keep track of what I've changed and what has been altered okay that's that now we have all the 
from here till uh, here uh, here yes are all the information files for Conky which is the program we are about to install and how do we install it or you run this one display this is a complete script installing whatever you need just to have this Conky and here you have all the programs you need which is of course Spotify if you don't like it just press now delete if you're not torrenting it doesn't care just delete and all the other information is actually interesting because you have to know why the temperature of your hard drive and stuff like that so this is what it does I wouldn't recommend it running it by double clicking it and run I wouldn't do that I would however go to right mouse click open in terminal in your folder of Aurora then you are already in Aurora and then you press point slash and how to and that's enough then you press tap and then you have auto script Aurora Sha. run it let's make it a bit bigger then it says okay that's what you this script is going to do this and that and that, and that. All right and then you have to say okay go ahead type your password in then it's going to install here in the top a key and, and uh, how do you say it again PPA to your system so it knows you can download the information from there a trusted repository if you like and then everything gets installed get one get this get that every software packet is downloaded from the internet and is processed setting up and setting up and here we are almost at the end eh? almost there it says if you want Conky really to know ev everything about your computer you have to run sensors detect that is this one and all you have to do is say yes all the time so yes y enter y enter y enter y enter y enter or enter we're making the movie longer than it's needed yes enter yes enter yes enter okay and let's maybe pause this you know what I'm going to do press yes enter and we're back all the scans have been done you can read, read it here that it's going to add some stuff to the mod modules successfully change these two and I added a line here the service scan mods stop waiting so you don't have to really do it yourself this one has been done by the script already so sensors detect done 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 let's quit this terminal you don't have to see what's in here so this file this this folder should actually go in a specific place okay so let's go to the menu first here you have Conky Manager now it's installed through the script when you run it and only when you run it it's going to make a special folder Ctrl H in your home then you go up for Ctrl H if you forget it oh, it's here somewhere show hidden files Ctrl H okay so when you run Conky Manager this comes extra and these are the standard theme packs that our uh, programmer has uh, added this is the programmer and we are very very uh, thankful that he made it some time ago and now we can be creative ourselves and make an Aurora theme or Aurora Conky theme the only thing you have to do is be sure that this has no longer a version number or some kind behind it we want uh, no version numbers just Aurora all the scripts all the pathways are pointing to Aurora and in the map dot conky so if that's done dot conky Aurora all the files files are here nothing should be done here anymore unless you want to edit something because 
that is open source you can always change things now we have to refresh it search for new themes and there you go here is the Konki Aurora TS calendar and so on the clock is there and the extras which I am surely going to fill with something and then forecasting we're in Belgium I am in Belgium I am a teacher maybe you would have guessed that and I'm sharing my knowledge to the open source world forecasting in general this is the one I like it's taking a long time now he has to do a lot of scripts I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a leaner a faster general one without all the, the big scripts running and looking for the manufacturer of my uh, PC motherboard stuff and all that make it a bit faster with maybe a nicer ring I found another LUA ring with its Chinese tone brother just have fun with this one and learn just by taking little steps like I did like everybody does so the memory Kazam is going away with 24% of my memory which is this making this movie this is this program here which is of course normal alright I um, well one last thing maybe I do like the theme options you just click a theme you get a nice wallpaper you like and then you can still afterwards this is oh, I took the one wrong one <laughs> these are all the widgets and this one is made this conky uh, theme is made for a dual screen so every everything comes now on just one screen which is of course chaos which is um, fun to see but uh, that was not my idea this one is a better one this almost fits on one screen since this is my only screen it is filled completely with information but nevertheless um, change the content change the look change the colors have fun with it edit change it find something else in the internet change it again this is what I do this is fun okay